my mom. And this was a this was a this was a long time ago. Um, <laughs> you know, I <laughs> I of course social media and all that none of that existed. So to be an artist then sort of meant either you, know, you taught art or you went um, the gallery route. Um, you could sell having your own website, but none of the platforms that exist now, like Squarespace and all of them, they um, it's so much easier now to sell your work off of your site. Mm -hmm. um, you don't necessarily need a gallery or, um, you know, any of those avenues. But at the time, you know, I was just kind of working. Kind of, it was like a little art factory. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> but um, I did get to paint every day. I did get to work with like, I was surrounded by my peers and they were all super creative and great and I had healthcare. So yeah. you know, there's some pluses. <laughs> right. Well, that's motivating. I mean, that's just motivating to be around it, to encourage it, to do more. Yeah. To explore I mean, yeah, I really think of, I kind of worked there maybe six or seven years um, after college and um, Again, I look back at it as, um, I, I think of it as sort of an extension of my schooling because right. like they would give you projects for hotels, but it wouldn't be, it would be like, okay, paint a giraffe, you know, <laughs> with the gold background. It would be nothing that you would ever do. So it was right. challenging in a good and you know you learn from it so it was good <laughs> yeah I, I sometimes those limitations i feel like is where some of the best stuff comes like i love creative direction because i'm i'm an illustrator and you know a bit of an artist so i love if someone can kind of give me their parameters i always feel like the best stuff usually comes out of that so i know it's because it's the weirdest because it's out of your comfort zone you yeah. know it's bringing your pers you know your perception to something entirely different than what you're used to like churning out yeah and this was good because um everyone we did work on commission but it was basically an hourly type thing so we weren't in competition with each other so in order to get a project done you know i have the input from five different other people other artists so mm -hmm. to me that's because being an artist pretty much you're pretty means being kind of solitary <laughs> yes you, you know you're just sort of working you know in the studio alone so to have that kind of community was good was great. <laughs> i was i was eventually going to get to that because i i find that that's some of the most beneficial uh i don't know, just connections for normal creative people to have i found this like sketch group here in chicago you know and this yeah get a bar and it's so much fun and I feel like so many other people could benefit from the community as an artist instead of the isolation because I feel like that's where like a lot of the dang you know you can get some good stuff but it's a lot of dangerous stuff that like people you know when they go yeah <laughs> no. in your head in those deep caves. <laughs> you're, too, you're too much yeah in your own brain yeah it's nice um I just moved here to Greenville South Carolina and I'm tr kind of trying to seek out a community mm meet some people because it yeah can be you know like you said isolating so. yeah it, my sis, side note my sister just left greenville she she's now in nashville but uh i'm familiar with the place it's um there, you know you have your strip right there's the strip down I, well i guess i never went to music clubs but that's probably a good yeah <laughs> I, there i haven't either but i i mean so far so good it's yeah. um it's small right <laughs> so i think i've I'm, i've found that it's kind of slower to meet people but it's i'm getting i guess you know slowly yeah. it's good <laughs> you're uh you're from georgia uh south carolina you um, always been I, in south carolina or you were you just moved no, to uh grew up in south carolina um in myrtle beach and oh. then I went School in Georgia, and then um, I did live overseas for about three years in France, um, nice. and then came back to Atlanta, Asheville, Greenville. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? So that that's a really good. So how does that change your worldview and how you create? Um. 
Actually, living in Asheville was great. Um, the community was super, the artistic community yeah. was super strong there. Um, and I also, I haven't really experienced it before, but it's really heavy into the crafts, um, like ceramics and textile and, um, you know, just black glass blowing, right. <laughs> which kind of not, I like kind of intermingling the different art practices and um, learning how other people create and make their art. Because um, once you get out of school, or even if you do go to, you know, you never get to experience, you know, other art forms really in the same way. So Asheville was great. It sort of just broadened my appreciation for mm -hmm. all different art practices and um france was also obviously i mean europe in general is just like yeah just inspiration everywhere i mean the museums and the, the you know i can't even the architecture the it's yeah. just yeah, Going to Renaissance. It's overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. yeah um that's cool <laughs> You go on a renaissance kick right after being in Europe, like you just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I know. It, it's like I said, I usually, I didn't have my own art studio when I was there. So I really just sketched a lot and kind of thought about ideas. But it was, I literally had to, after I moved back to the States, sort of had to process all of, yep. <laughs> all of the, what you would see. You could literally just be at your house and go to the Louvre and then you're back at your yeah back at your house it was pretty yeah it was pretty. but you're in Chicago so you I mean you're we have yeah we're taken care of yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there it's something you know there's something special about Europe and and that's yeah. especially worldview you said a couple years so that's like that had to give you a different the way the stuff you create after that has to definitely be changed than before you went sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. I think um, anyone, I guess if you've had the, you know, the fortune to, to be able to actually live in another country for a little while, it's, it's pretty life changing. I mean, you, you can really, it just doesn't open you up to that particular culture. I think you just see the world and kind of a, you know, a lot different way. I guess you appreciate other cultures more than. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's definitely changed. The <laughs> so that's, um, so then how do I, so we'll tie this back to the book in the sense that, that do you feel a lot of, I don't know, is the book any response to you sort of digesting I mean, it has to be just digesting all of your experience kind of into something to give to people. Is that? Yeah, the book. Um, I think after some of those experiences and living abroad and um, I, I think the book was a challenge to me and it was one that I was just ready to do. I mean, I think an artist or whatever you're chosen field you, it can be stagnant especially in a creative type field i mean you really have to push yourself or you're you know you're not gonna grow i mean so right. i think the book did that I, I was able to still think about art and be in you know in the art world but not actually physically painting i had to like view my practice in a different perspective you know which was great. I mean, I was really kind of hesitant about it, but once you once I started doing it, I was like, you know, you. I felt like I had some stuff to say. So. Yeah. <laughs> and, I like, sure. and I agree with what you said. To have a community, I mean, we're not. I don't feel myself like in competition, you know, with other. Right. I feel like. We're, we're helping each other. We grow and help each other, you know, to, so I felt like the book was part of that too. So interesting. Yeah. I, yeah, I believe that, uh, I know there's, there gets to be some issues with this online, I think, but certain artists that get inspired by certain artists, you know, and directly, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, musicians, I'm, I come from music too. So I know you got to do cover songs before you start writing. 
<laughs> your own music. So it's like I that's the way I view like all progressive learning. So that's yeah. I agree. Yeah. Sharing I know. It's definitely a, kind of a slippery slope. I mean, I did the same. I had to, in art school, they make you like practice the masters um, to learn. But yeah, I do see with the, it's, it's kind of a problem to me actually, but it, it's kind of a little bit the elephant in the room. <laughs> You're like, yeah. you know, uh, I, I think as long, um, yeah, I think just trying to stay true to yourself and what your views are, right. um, you know, it's really the true meaning of being an artist, you know, mm -hmm. is being creative. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, Can I pull on that one more sec? I like that. Do you have, um, I know as artists, they really, whatever people interpret, is obviously what you want them to feel, but like, do you, I mean, I'm assuming you, you have a very optimistic and positive view on, on what your creations are. Like you're just hoping to spread sort of ideas and like positive positivity, or do you have like any certain themes that you're hoping in your work that you want to convey? Does that make um, sense? Yeah, it does. I mean, I've been an artist, I'm 41. <laughs> I've been an artist a long time and I think for anyone that that view or that vision is going to change I mean it has to you're changing I mean you, your art is a reflection of who you are right but literally it changes day to day almost I mean something you painted yesterday you, when you come back to it you know the next day you know you might feel it feel a different you know way or you know be in a different state of mind or so um, so it's changed right now. I definitely, I think art, yeah, I think I like to, to express, to inspire people and to also express positivity. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of what my work is, is, um, inspired by nature and mm -hmm. nature typically is, um, you know, brings a sense of calm and, um, yeah. I mean, I think yeah, so through my work, just try to, yeah, positivity. I mean, I can't say that it always has. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah, for the moment, for this moment. <laughs> we go through phases. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll see what I'm painting when I'm 60. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'll be interesting. That is interesting. And that's, for me personally, like, I love looking at all my old work and then just kind of, you know, the whole challenge of where you've come from. It's interesting yeah. to see your true mindset and so i think yeah. that's fun i um, think um that's actually why i love keeping sketchbooks because you can yeah. go back um you know 10 years ago and you see like this common thread but this very but also very different too you know it's crazy it's cool yeah it's fine. <laughs> true snapshots of where you were yeah <laughs> mentally <laughs> Yeah. Uh, cool. All right. Well, um, the book I have, I forgot to bring it today, but I, it's gorgeous. Um, oh, thank you. And it's clearly very detailed. So you, how many, cause you basically de de uh, devote, is it a page or every, every other page gets like a technique. It's like every page, right? You have plus. Yeah. Math. I kind of, I started out each chapter with um, like an introduction mm -hmm. and then and then from there, I went into the exercises, you know, based on the chapters. So, yeah, it, 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 um, and it's got eight chapters overall. So, um, and every, uh, chapter has like two or three exercises, um, to each one. So, um, yeah, it was a lot, it was a lot of writing, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a writer. Um, not, well, I yeah. like writing and writing about stuff that you love is pretty, is, you know. Right. Is easy. Pretty, pretty easy. Yeah, so, um, I didn't have a background in, um, in education, art education. So I had to just sort of draw on things that 
either I, I have learned in school or um, mm -hmm. as I've experienced since, but yeah, so, but it was fun. And, and how they've helped you. So direct, yeah, yeah dr dr like, dr like, bleh, direct relation. To the, yeah, yes. Um, so that, uh, I guess, um, maybe my last little question. So your main focus, so you're still a practicing artist, you're doing the book, and then do you, you do other design or what other kind of art related stuff do you do? Yeah, I do, I do a lot. I try to, um, I think for an artist, you know, there's very few of us that are so fortunate to just paint and sell your work and be able to make a living. So I think probably like a lot of artists, I have kind of several streams of mm -hmm. revenue. I try to do design works, design work for companies. Um, I, I do commissions, I have galleries, I sell work off my site. Um, the book has been another great, you know, way to sort of be an artist, but make a living. Um, right. So yeah, I kind of encourage, you know, if you're capable of doing it, to just continue to have, you know, to, in order to build your practice and to build your name as an artist. And, you know, it's kind of nice to have the different aspects. Right. So, and it's nice, like I said, when I first became an artist that, you know, you were either a graphic designer, you work, you know, with a gallery or you were like a professor, it, it seemed like there wasn't this, you know, combination of them all. social media, like I would have never been able to get in contact with some of the companies I've worked with. I mean, you have, <laughs> like who are you gonna, I mean, you can't just call, email, you know, some of these companies. So it's, yeah. So in that way, social media is helpful. I mean, even though the love hate relationship that probably all of us have with it. Yeah. But it helps. As an artist, it helps. Right. No, that's what I've, the, the art community and it's just direct access. It's, it's like a, it's a better email because <laughs> people yeah. use it as sort of their escape. So like, that's where yeah. they are and then, oh, they get a message. Sure. That's, I know. <laughs> you know, so it's fun. It's, so back when you used yeah. to mail, it was fun. <laughs> I know. It, it, it is, it is, <laughs> it, um, no, I have, I feel like I've, I've met some of my best friends, <laughs> it, yeah. even though I haven't met them, but, you know. <laughs> well, it, it's true, you know, I mean, people, people are sharing there, it's where we're hanging out, so you, like, you really, yeah. communities form, you know, like, people, people are always just constantly looking for communities, it seems like, and so, like, anything that you can do to sort of bring them together, like, the book, like, you know, you're going to help a bunch of artists, like, just, you know, be inspired by just the book to try new techniques, which is half the battle of why people are afraid of art school. So it's like, well, here's, here's a primer, yeah. you know, you could, you could do a lot of work like that. And so that's, it's cool. It's a nice congratulations, because I know I'm sure that feels like a, it's, it's probably your biggest piece can, you know, to date in reality. Yeah, <laughs> the summation it is. Of the work it <laughs> I know. I mean, it is. So thank you. Yeah. It, I mean, and you're exactly right. I think we are looking for community because other than that relationship that we had in school and, you know, having other artists constantly around you on a day to day basis, you know, we don't go to a works, you know, an office space or we don't have that like right. community. So, so in order to find things from like what frame or what frame, framers do you use or you know how do you I don't know what you know what 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 materials do you use it's just like you know it's nice like you said to have that community and the book yeah the book I mean I think like I said I've kind of learned by by making a lot of mistakes but <laughs> you yeah. know you learn over the years what to do and what not to do um so I hope it I hope it does help people that's life, yeah. The, mis the only progress is through mistakes. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Especially in, especially in abstract art, you know. You right, yeah. Make, <laughs> you make a lot. You, you don't know what that's weird what things works. <laughs> and what was that, sorry? I said that's what gesso is for. That's oh, <laughs> exactly. 
Um, well, uh, I thought I had something else, but that might. Do you want to give um, uh, any plugs for where people can find you? And um, and the book, yeah. the book is called The Alchemy, Paint Alchemy? Right, the book is called Paint Alchemy. Um, it actually is sold, at the well, on Amazon, and then, but it's also Barnes & Noble, um, Cheap Joe's, which is one of the resources I listed. They started carrying it about only like a week or two ago on their website. Nice. Um, uh, yeah, I get a lot of my materials from them. They're they're great. Um, and you can also go to Porto, their website, the the, pub, the publishers for the book, and actually purchase it there too. So um, and yeah, I'm excited about it. it. Came out in November, so it hasn't been that long. Um, right. Yeah. So it's yeah. Now there's <laughs> and, um, a push. Yeah. <laughs> have you have you um, done any um, like videos on the chapters, or have you been looking at any like side marketing, you know, tie-ins with the book like that? No, that's uh, to be honest. But I but I want to. I know I'm super shy, so I, video yeah. is hard. Yeah. But it's where it's where things are going. So I have to sort of accept it and kind of go with it and think of it as a new challenge. <laughs> so, um, so that's really why I agreed to do this. It's great. I mean, I, you know, you got to comfort zone. Yeah. Yeah. You got to get out of your comfort zone. So I want to, I haven't yet. I think cause the book came out in November. And so the hall, you know, with the holidays, right. right. I haven't really been able to like, think about 2019 and like focus on <laughs> yeah. what am I, what am I going to do? So I would like to, I, I do, I do want I would, to. I would highly suggest then, um, cause that's kind of, that's what I went to when I didn't make all the money in, in art gallery stuff. I started going to services like in this marketing, I would yeah. find someone, find just like a video person in your area and either barter something or, you know, like, yeah. Get them to film you because it'll be a lot easier if you're like with someone you're comfortable with instead of you doing it yeah. and just like an hour you know like because a lot of people it's hard to sustain the energy yeah you know? so just like do it in short spurts like break it down into you know chapters or techniques and just see because then once you can visualize it too you know you'll just be able to see oh this is the direction for the next seven chapters or how you know how it should go so I my suggestion I yeah no thank you and I I guess though that person or whoever I would get I would they would have to be like edit it and stuff right I mean so yeah and do you suggest a platform or a, that's most I mean like YouTube and stuff? Yeah. yeah yeah like you do you um you have a Facebook page right like a, a fan one? Uh, no, I <laughs> do that, I kinda, do that I need first to, for the book, yeah. do a Facebook page just for the Paint Alchemy book. And then from there, you can start using it as a platform of like, hey, can someone help with some video? You know, you can use that as your job posting or you, yeah. or there's, there's some, I don't know where it would be in Greenville. Chicago has a couple of, you know, like, um, higher sites that you could check out like bark.com. So if you, if you want, I can send you a couple of those and you can like see if there's anyone in the area, but that's, that's my wheelhouse, like video and, and this stuff is my wheelhouse. So that's why I, I see when I see visions or, you know, like ways that people can help their, their brand and stuff. That's what I just want to try and suggest. So I hope you don't mind. Well, me. No. And if I can help you guys, I mean, if I can, um, certainly help you can i use like you and actually do the video? i mean i don't know I, w I could help edit if you get someone to film it i could help edit so i mean hey you if, <laughs> hire yeah, you a, yeah well we can if you need help on editing yeah i could i could definitely help so um yeah i do i do want to try to because i to be honest one time i did an online workshop but but it was live and I've been traumatized by it <laughs> because all of the little, all of the questions and all of the people talking, you could like, 
right. see it scrolling and 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 the sound didn't work and like I, I, yeah so i'm trying to like get over that because i <laughs> yeah i understand yeah just I, uh, a lot yeah, live is too much. If it's, especially if you want to be photo live, the only way if, if you can see it is like a Q and A. Yeah, <laughs> it'll just be too distracting. Like you'll just <laughs> you won't be able to have a, a clear thought, and you'll just be like, yeah, you'll get lost. <laughs> yeah, every time you're trying to yeah finish a sentence, you're like, hey, you know, you're like looking at the like. <laughs> You read um, the end of their question. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Talking, you read the end of that. Like, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. like, ah. um, no, thank you for that advice. Yeah, and it's um, no, it's great to do interviews, and it, like I said, it's good to be out of my comfort zone. So. Yes. <laughs> um, cool. Well, thanks. I'll um, I'll give me a little bit of time. I'll I'll send you a copy. It'll be on my through the YouTube, and then you can share it if you want. Um, okay. And then I'll, uh, yeah. So I appreciate I, you taking the time. Thank you so much. It was nice to meet you. And um, yeah, um, I guess that whenever, I mean, whenever you do get a chance, if you do think of anybody, email me if you think of them. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, um, I'll definitely keep that in mind, I think. Okay. Some thank ideas you. On that, so good. Thank you. Talk soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>